in your in your rehab? What's your next step? What do you do next? Uh, well, once I get down to Florida, start Tuesday, we, we should uh, start doing live VPs okay. in about a week or so, and just kind of taking it from there. So you've already done some bullpens and things like that? We'll, we'll get the bullpens once I get done. Okay, live VPs good. about a week after. So. so Mo has mentioned May 1st is kind of like a soft date for you. Is that something that you're content with, or are you kind of motivating yourself to see if maybe you can be opening day ready? Um, I'm, I want to be ready for spring training. Um, you know, that's a decision they have to decide, and whatever they want to do is is obviously okay with me. But um, I want to show up to spring training ready and, and be able to show what I have. Will you wear the same jersey number, or are you changing your jersey number? Um, as of now, I believe I have the same jersey number. Did you take this uh, this past season you know? A little more disappointed not being on the pitch, but did you find a way to kind of straighten your mental game a little bit? Hang on, and players talk to as much as you can. I wouldn't say necessarily a, a disappointment because I was able to, you know, to work and just be able to, to focus on, on my body. And I feel like this off season was was probably one of the best off seasons I've had in terms of being able to you know put the work in and the work ethic and working with the right people. So you where I want to be next year. Carson, what was this off season like for you? Not from a physical training standpoint, but more of like mental sort of preparation, knowing that you're being looked at as a big leaguer from day one versus hey, you might get a shot here or a shot there. Did that change anything for you mentally how you prepare this off season? Uh, maybe a little bit. Um, I think just staying in St. Louis. I mean, staying in St. Louis, working with the guys and and at the stadium and being being around the the community it, it helped me grow as a person and as as a player. And I think that's gonna really. Know, give me confidence going into spring training and, and where I want to be, and I'm feeling I'm in a great spot to, you know, go into spring training, compete, and, and be ready at any opportunity that presents itself. Hey Carson, I know it's weird talking about a teammate who's standing right next to you, but can you describe some of the aspects of Alex's game that uh, impressed you from a major league standpoint? Well, I've I've seen Alex since what was it like Palm Beach, Peoria, like so we've we've came up through the system together, and just to see how much he's grown as a person and as a player and. You know all the all the things he takes in and, and, and learns from, you know everything. Every outing he goes out there, he, it just seems like he gets better and better. And that's something that's, you know, I'm very impressive. Which Reyes pitch would you least like to face if you were the batter? I mean, every single one. Um, <laughs> I think we maybe maybe face each other once or twice, and he's got me just about every single time. I may have got him one time and just a broken bat, you know, <laughs> like flare or something like that. This is a bit of a joint question for both of you, but given health, who do you think has the best fastball on the big league staff? I, I, I mean, we got guys that throw hard. Um, you know, Alex has got that. I mean, both Carlos and Alex, both, both are different types of pitchers. Uh, Carlos has got that heavy sinker, and Alex has got that high spin fastball, and you know, it works for both of them. And I think I'm, I'm excited to, to be back there and catch both of them because they're they're fun to be around and, and fun to catch. How about you, Alex? I honestly love Carlos's fastball. It's just electric. Um, he's got movement on it when he wants to. And I feel like he does what he wants with the baseball. Like, that guy can really throw the ball. Carson, you, uh, you're probably aware of the, the goal for years to get Yachty some games off behind the plate. Um, hasn't really played out the way the, the team would like to see it. But now, now you're here. And uh, what kind of conversations have you had about now you're a catcher who's, who's not just here to support, but they want to find at bats for you? What kind of conversations have you had about playing time and how to kind of handle it? Um, you know, not, not a ton. It's, it's basically the same thing of being ready when the opportunity presents itself. Because, I mean, who knows what's going to happen in the future? We, I mean, we can plan all we want, but we never know what's going to happen until it actually happens. So I think this off season and, and simplifying a lot of my game and my workouts and, and putting myself in the city here has really, you know, opened up a lot of doors for me. And I think I'm going to be in a great spot come spring training and, and transferring that in the season. Car